Hey everybody, Brad here. I'm here with my friend Ariel Scarcella. Ariel, thanks for coming over. Th listen, <laughs> damagecontrol.com. Can we can we make that a uh, LGBT damagecontrol.com? You we know, need to I make was that just... a website because this is ridiculous. <laughs> I was just thinking we're going to have to do a documentary, What is a Lesbian? Um, because first it came, what is a woman, right? And people didn't know the answer to that. Apparently people don't have a definition for what is a woman anymore. So I just want to read you this. So folks know the Trevor Project, which actually it's sad because they've done a lot of great work over the Fantastic years. Fantastic work, yes. With teen mental health and the LGBT community. But they've apparently been captured by like the extreme woke fringe of the LGBT community because this is their definition of lesbian, Ariel. It's lesbian, commonly used to describe people who identify as women or feminine of center, whose attractions are to some other women. Some non-binary people who were assigned female at birth use this term to describe their attraction to women, despite not identifying or as a woman. <laughs> That's, that's a very circular definition because it has to do with identity. So anybody can identify that way. What does feminine of and center mean? What the hell does feminine of center even mean? <laughs> does that mean that somebody that's a butch lesbian because they're not feminine of center? They're actually straight. That they're actually somehow like, I, I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. I, I really don't understand. It, it's it's like the opposite of what lesbian really is, which is just a female that's attracted to other females, but at the same time presents themselves as as a woman. Like you can be a butch lesbian and still present as a woman, even though you look like a man. You're you're completely living your life as a woman. Your your birth certificate, your driver's license, everything says female on it. Your voice when you speak, you sound like a woman, right? That's that's a lesbian. If you yeah, want to get yeah. trans people into the mix, you can call them. I, I would call them a tr trans lesbian because there are some trans women that present quote present as women and date other women, but they're not they're not a lesbian. They're a trans lesbian. That's a very different experience than regular lesbians. But also the non-binary thing throws me. Like I get what you're saying about trans lesbian, but you can't be a non-binary lesbian because you're literally saying I'm not a woman. You're saying I'm not a woman. So how so can we... <laughs> either so you're undercutting your own identity... You're, you're damned if you're... you do, damned if you don't. Because if you say, okay, I accept you as a non-binary lesbian, then I'm not accepting you as a non-binary person. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it doesn't make any sense. It's I, like, yeah, it's like I... you're, you're accepting them as both when you can technically only accept them as being one. So my concern here, Ariel, is you and I both know, like, making the argument for gay and lesbian and bisexual people to be accepted was always about, like, same-sex attraction, right? Like, people can't control, they just are born this way. Right. They're essentially defining it to the point where it's so nebulous, you really could define, you could just identify as a lesbian without being one. Also, if you can do that, couldn't you do the reverse? I mean, doesn't it kind of undercut the acceptance argument of people can't change who they're attracted to, or it's biological, or any of this when they redefine these words to mean whatever they want. 100%. Did you see that the dating app, the, les if the previously lesbian or bisexual women dating app, her? Did you see the yes, statement? Yes, I that saw this. Making? What happened again? <laughs> they basically went full woke and they started saying things like even, even their Twitter bio literally says the flinta which i had no idea what the hell that meant by the way i think it says like i think it means feminine presenting lesbian intersex non-binary trans asex asexual lesbian and lesbian dating app that transphobes love to hate literally in their bio right now in their <laughs> happy lesbian visibility week happy lesbian visibility day uh from me i'm robin i'm the ceo at her um and from all of the her team um, to all our lesbians in our thriving community. Um, we see you, we love you. And a big thing we're wanting to talk about this year for Lesbian Visibility Day um, is the incredible breadth and representation of this lesbian community. There are some, frankly, just like hideous, uh, overbearing, aggressive, offensive voices right now on the internet, uh, the TERFs, and we're done with them. Like, uh, we are here to make it clear 
that lesbians exist of all different kinds and types. There is no one way to be a lesbian. And so anyone who is trying to suggest or other you in your lesbian identity can get the f up, especially if it's on her. We are a platform for all lesbians, trans lesbian, non-binary lesbians. You are all part of our lesbian community and uh, there's no space for TERFs on her. So with that, happy Lesbian Visibility Day. Like, first of all, nobody uses that app anymore. This is an app that I was trying to work with for years and I just never wound up working with them. And I don't wanna, I don't know if you wanna put this in the video because give them more cred, but <laughs> um, it's gotten to the point where they don't even know how to define the word lesbian themselves. So funnily enough, and I love this, of course, there's a bunch of guys, and I retweeted this, of course, there's a bunch of straight, straight up dudes going on the app making profiles <laughs> and saying, what are you gonna do? Like, <laughs> yeah, like really, like what are you gonna do? You can't, you can't, you can't, you know, you can't basically kick me off now because of your own ideology. And somebody said, I think every man should go and create a profile on the Her Social app just to fill it full of men, as apparently us men can be lesbians too. Girl dick is something lesbians need to accept. <laughs> Oh, it's a parody account. Oh, okay. Well, that's a parody post, yeah. But the thing is, there literally are people that go on this site every day, and people send me the screenshots, because that's one of the sites that I'm not on anymore. They send me screenshots of, of, of dudes with full beards and everything, like not even trying to present as female. Straight up dudes that are claiming to be like this person. Look, this is this is on Bumble, but still, this is really happening in the lesbian world. <laughs> she, they. She, they. Like, total no. fucking beard and everything. Like, not literally not even trying. Like, not, like, at least shave your beard. Like, that's all I'm saying. Like, it, it like, of course, they're like ethically non-monogamous, polyamorous, and partnered. Of course. We so know I that. thought it was strange when I back in the day was on Grinder a little bit. Sometimes you would see trans women on Grinder, and it's like who are trying to present female. And I would sort of get it with trans men, though I think you're not going to have a lot of interest. But that's okay. Maybe some people will be interested, right. and that's fine. But if you're literally identifying as a woman, or I would see non-binary people, and this right. is a male-for-male -male app why are you going into these spaces and trying to i like i would never want to go into a space that's not for me that would make me uncomfortable i don't know why where's this desire coming from because there i think there are certain a very small subset of trans women that that know that they are male and know that there are some gay men if they still have a penis that might be interested in it you know i think that's really what it comes down to so they did the same thing, the Trevor Project, for gay. <clears throat> they said the definition of gay is an identity for someone who experiences same gender attraction and sometimes refers to someone who only experiences same, sex, same gender attraction. It's commonly used to describe people who identify as men or masculine of center who are attracted to some other men. Not all people who use this term are men. Well, I guess, yeah, I sort of get that. Like, some lesbian people will call, uh, used to call themselves gay. Like, I get right, that yeah. part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We use um, that word, yeah. It is now also used by women and non-binary people. So, the non-binary one again makes again, no sense. How could you be? How could you be? Same gender like, attracted you while you're also not a gender. Right. How could you say that I'm gay, meaning a man attracted to other men, but say that you're non-binary, which means you're not a man? And of it course. says sometimes refers to someone who only experiences same gender attraction. What does it mean? Some, like, that's the whole definition. That's the you, whole definition is being attracted to the same sex or same, or at least the same gender expression, right? Like somebody that looks like a guy. But so the problem is if I had, you know, when I was a teenager and I was struggling with this, if I had gone to the Trevor Project and I didn't, but say I did and looked at this website and was trying to figure out what I am or, or what this all means, those yeah. definitions would confuse me and I would be like, oh, that's not me. I don't know whatever that is. That seems like some political thing. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? Like I, I would be like, okay, I can be like a butch lesbian, but claim to be non-binary because I'm butch which means like gender expression wise, I'm not feminine presenting, but also claim the title lesbian, which means I'm a woman that likes women, but I'm claiming to be non-binary, which means not, I'm not a woman. 
And then if somebody's attracted to that butch lesbian, are they all of a sudden pansexual? Because <laughs> this person's not a woman? Like, I, no. <laughs> this that's is like, my hot take. Like, don't believe your own eyes. That, I've that's always thought pansexual is just a, an extra attention-seeking way of saying bisexual. Bisexual, yeah. There's no meaningful point, difference. Pretty, yeah. Um, but I, I guess I'm concerned because I think a lot of this stuff that where they're going really to the extreme is really off-putting to people. And people have, unfortunately, a very like binary way of looking at things. They're not great at having nuance. So the more radical the presentation of LGBT acceptance becomes, the more people are like going to reject it entirely. You know, they're not going to have a nuanced position and say, well, I don't believe in sapiosexual and pansexual, but I support LGB people and true transsexuals. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of people are going to take the time to make that distinction. They're either going to say, I support all this or I don't. And the yep. more radical they make all this, the more off-putting they make all this, the more people are just going to be like, I don't. That's why I said in the beginning of the stream, like, it's so important that people like you and myself speak out and do damage control videos because it's like we're not like these crazies <laughs> we're just same-sex attracted people we don't think like them we don't act like them we don't look like them well it's funny too because people like you or me or blair white or others actually i think do a lot of good for the acceptance of the community to show that yep. like lesbians and trans people uh, many are normal and like you yep. and mm -hmm. yet the kind of left part of the lgbt community hates us as like traitors as if we've like sold out but i actually think people like us and maybe i'm tooting my horn a, horn a little no you're right are much more what you're gonna say right it, it are much more palatable to people and show them like hey we can be normal we can have reasonable values we can have things in common and that does a lot to like promote acceptance yep absolutely most of the lesbian youtube channels that i don't want to say i grew up around but that that i started with that we grew, grew up together, so to speak, most of their channels are dead. And it's because a lot of them went far leftist and people got sick of their shit. And there's, there's no common ground anymore with these people. It's either you believe everything we say or, or you're a horrible Nazi. And that's not how the world works. You have to find, like you said, commonalities. I think I, I will give people on the, I, I increasingly find myself disagreeing with people on the right a lot lately. But mm -hmm. I do find they're more willing to have the conversations and to have the mm -hmm. debates. So like I debated Michael Knowles on trans issues and we're very far apart. He has a, a very crazy view in my opinion on that. I agree but with that too. We, have, um, we had a very respectful debate and f like 200,000 people have watched it on YouTube and the yeah. comments are all like, wow, I'm glad they discussed this. I agree with Brad, I agree with Michael, blah, 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 blah. Whereas CNN did a segment on it saying that us even having the debate is akin to having a debate about whether murder should be legal. Yeah, and I was it's say like, whether trans people should, should be alive or not. Like, right, that's not and so is, that's not what they're not even willing to have the debates and the conversations where, for example, like I know you've talked about being pro-choice, which is not how most people on the right are. Right. Do you think, though, that people are more accepting of different views on the right? Yes, I really do. I, I, and that's just from direct experience. Part of it was moving down to Florida. Um, it was, it's funny, funnily, my friend that, one of my first friends just texted me, my friend David Brokeback Patriot. Um, he introduced me to a bunch of other people on, on the right. And even though I disagree with some of them on certain, on certain issues, I still hang out with them. We go on vacations together. I, I text them when I'm crying over a girl. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like they're, they've become really, really good friends of mine. And I've never experienced that on, with people on the far left. And Wait, I'm so not, you live oh, in Florida I'm, now? I go New back City? to New York City in Florida, yeah. Okay, then I have to ask you about this. I wrote about this a few weeks ago. The group Equality Florida issued mm -hmm. a travel advisory warning people that Florida is now may not be safe for lesbian, gay, bisexual, or transgender people. They warn of the risks posed to the health, safety, and freedom of those considering short or long-term travel or relocation to the state, uh, citing you know all the conservative policies that DeSantis and others have put in there. And they've said, <laughs> so they're, this group, this activist group, basically says LGBT people, Florida has become a no-go zone that is dangerous for them under Ron DeSantis. Yes. I haven't been to Florida in about a, a year and a half, but that seemed to me to be totally detached from reality. Completely detached from reality. Miami Pride was two weeks ago. <laughs> there was like 50,000 people there. Everyone was chilling. One of my really good friends 
works for Ron DeSantis in Tallahassee and she's a lesbian. She's an out lesbian and he loves her <laughs> just because they don't just because Ron DeSantis or conservative policies don't go along with everything on the gay agenda or the trans agenda doesn't mean that they're anti LGBT. It just means that people draw the line in different places. And at this point, I think a lot of LGBT people agree that the people on the far left are out of their minds. Yeah. And I think that's and I think it says I think it I think what says everything is the fact that people like you and I, our channels keep growing and other people's channels like i said are, are are just dying out the victim mentality is is getting old very quick yeah well we've got to keep speaking out uh thanks for joining me to talk about this everybody i'll put a link to ariel's channel in the description below uh and in the meantime stay safe stay be careful watch out for ron DeSantis trying to kidnap you or whatever in florida ridiculous thank you brad <laughs>